Hey everyone, I'm Gnix here and welcome back to a brand new Godot tutorial here on the channel. So today I've got quite an interesting tutorial for you all. So today I'm going to be teaching you all how to take screenshots in your Godot project. Now you might be thinking to yourself, but wait, if I want to take a screenshot of my Godot project, why can't I just press the Windows key and print screen in order to just take a screenshot like that or just use the snipping tool? And well, let's say for example, right, uh, in your Godot game. Let's say, for example, you're creating like a save system, for example, and whenever you save your game, you want to have like a screenshot of what the player last saw when they were playing uh, be displayed there for that save file, right? So if you want to do that, you're obviously going to have to use an in-engine method of taking screenshots, so then we can actually take a screenshot, save it to where we want to, and then load it from where we want to, so then we can actually use that screenshot in our game. So yeah, today I'm going to be teaching you guys uh, how to take screenshots in Godot, so then you can use your screenshots in your game if you want to, like I mentioned before, like with a save system or something, so let's go ahead and let's get right into it. So right now I've just got an empty UI scene, uh, I've just got a node here called image tutorial, it's just a control node, and then I have a text direct uh, for the image. So if you want to display an image in, a, in your scene, what I recommend you do is you do make sure that you have a text direct added, as that will display your image. Alrighty, so what we're going to do right now is we are going to do some scripting. So in my, uh, in my test scene here, I'm going to create a new script for my parent control node. So I'm just going to create a new script, I'm going to save it into my scripts folder. And uh, it doesn't really matter what you call it, of course, you can just call it like screenshots if you want to or something like that. Alright, so we're going to start off by creating a new function. And this function we're going to call the take screenshot. So this function is going to be used for taking the screenshot. So we're going to start off by doing var ss, and ss stands for screenshot. And then we'll do ss, oh wait, no, sorry, we need to do get underscore viewport. So what we're doing is we're getting the player's viewport, and the player's viewport is what the player can actually see in the game. Then what we do is we do then dot get texture dot get image. So what we're doing now is we are getting a t the image of what our player can currently see from their viewport. So that's what uh, SS does. And then what we do is we do ss.save underscore png or jpeg or whatever you want to. You can even save to webp if you want to. So basically you just want to now save to an image file, whether it be png or jpeg. I'm going to be doing png for this tutorial, so I'm going to go save underscore png. And then what you want to do is you then want to save your PNG into your user data folder. So that's by going user dot dot and then the two slashes. And then you can just enter in an image file name. So this can be whatever you like. For example, you might just want to call it, um, you know, just screenshot, for example. Screenshot.png. Or if you want to save multiple screenshots, then what you could do is you could then have like, you know, a variable, of course. Um, and uh, have that be the name of the screenshot. But yeah, it depends on what you're doing, of course. All right, so that's pretty much it for taking a screenshot. Yep, that's right. That's as simple as it is for doing a function to take a screenshot. But now what we're going to do is we're going to do a function to actually load it. So we're going to go func load underscore screenshot. And there we go. So I'm going to start off by creating a new variable called var img, and then what we want to do is we want to do image dot load from file, and then what you want to do is you want to get the exact same path to where you saved your screenshot, and then you just want to put that in here. So basically we're grabbing our screenshot now, so we're doing var img equals image dot load from file, and then we're grabbing our screenshot. And now what we need to do is we need to create a image texture from this image. So we need to go var, and then I'm going to call this text for short. And we're going to do image texture dot create from image. And then we want to do our image variable that we entered in here. So we're, so we're getting our screenshot and we're placing that in here to create an image texture out of. And now that we've actually created our, uh, our texture, now all that's left for us to do is to go dollar sign image 
or whatever your texture rect in your scene is called because mine is simply called image. I'm just grabbing image. So you want to do dollar sign and then whatever the name of your uh, your thingy is. And the reason as to why I'm doing dollar sign is because it's literally a child node of the node of which this script is attached to. So yeah. So I'm doing dollar sign image dot texture. So I'm assigning the uh, the texture of the image. And then I'm going to assign this to texture or text as it's called in the variable. So there we go. So we have our two functions here for taking the screenshot and loading the screenshot. Alrighty, so in order for us to actually use our functions here, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and create a button. So I'm going to go create a button here in this scene. We're just going to create a button. And I'm just going to make it as big as I want. Put it down here perhaps. And I'm going to call this um, a take screenshot. So whenever we press this button, what will happen is we will take the screenshot. We'll just make it big like this. And I am also going to be putting this UI scene into a proper 3D scene as well, so then we can actually, you know, take a screenshot of something rather than it just being a grey screen we're taking a screenshot of, so yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my button, and then you want to go into the node tab, and then where it says pressed, we're now going to connect our function, our take screenshot function, up to the button. So we're going to go take underscore screenshot, connect it up, and boom, there we go. Alright, so what we're going to do now is uh, underneath the take screenshot function, you want to go down the line and we're going to do await get underscore tree dot create underscore timer and after about maybe maybe after two seconds of the screenshot being taken. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just creating a timer uh, which will then after two seconds, what will happen is we'll then load the screenshot. So the reason as to why I'm creating a two second timer is just to give a bit of a bit of time for the screenshot itself to save. So then after it saves, a few seconds later, we can then load it onto our image texture. Something else which we might want to do as well before we take a screenshot is we might want to actually disable our UI so we could go visible and so visible equals false. So what we're doing is we're disabling our UI here. And then we can then re-enable it after taking the screenshot, just so then, you know, none of the UI is messing up any of the screenshot or anything. So we do visible equals false, and after two seconds, when we actually load the screenshot, we can then do visible equals true. So then our uh, UI can then turn back on. Alright, so I don't think there's anything missing. I think this is literally all we need to do here for this tutorial today. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to go into one of my scenes, so maybe this scene here. And uh, I'm actually now going to load in this scene, so we're going to go UI, oh wait, what's it called again? Just control, control E I called it, just control E. I do also have my film grain here as well, I'm going to get rid of this since that was for another tutorial. Alright, so before we do get started with actually testing out the screenshot, one thing which we should actually do is uh, actually change up the expand mode of our image itself, of our uh, image node itself, and the reason as to why is because when we take this screenshot, right, uh, what's going to happen is when we load it, it is going to set to the regular size of what that image actually is. So if you have a 19 by 1080 monitor, and that screenshot ends up being 1920 by 1080 in its dimensions, then that is going to way out scale your, uh, your, your viewport size here, because the default Godot viewport size is 1152 by 648. So by loading up a 1920 by 1080 image onto that, it's going to look, to, it's going to look very overstretched. So basically what we're going to do is we are actually going to change our expand mode and what I recommend you do is you do something like ignore size. So basically what that will do is um, whatever size you have your image set to yourself. So if you just like scale it out yourself, that is what the image itself will actually be. So yeah, so now when your image is all ready, uh, let's get started. So I'm going to go into my example scene here, then we're going to test out this scene. Alright, so now all we need to do is just simply press the Take Screenshot button, and our screenshot will be taken. And boom, there we go. 
So as you can see, my screenshot was taken. Now, obviously, my plan to uh, have the UI disabled uh, during the screenshot didn't work. Um, I'll have to fix that up and just iron that out a bit. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the screenshot was taken, and now it is loaded up right here into the top left-hand corner of our screen. So yeah, again, taking screenshots in Godot is good for things like save systems. I'm actually currently doing this for Asubis Delucalo, uh, one of my FPS games I'm working on at the moment, so yeah. But anyways guys, just before I do end this tutorial, I am just going to quickly iron out the, uh, the screenshot thingy, but this is pretty much the end of the tutorial now. So yeah, what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to add an await timer after making the, uh, the UI not visible. So we'll do 0.1 seconds after, then that's when we'll actually take the screenshot. But yeah, so just that little adjustment needs to be made there. But uh, overall, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, hopefully you can find a good use for this uh, method of taking screenshots in Godot. Again, the coding is very, very simple. And uh, yeah, so now as you can see, our UI did not show up when taking that screenshot just then. But yeah, again, hopefully it was an easy tutorial for you guys to learn. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.